Motorized sliders. I love them. And I'm going to show you five ways that you can utilize them in your church's live stream. All right, guys, so let's get into it. We love using these motorized sliders in areas that we can't put a physical person, maybe tucked in some area of the stage or in our auditorium, but it, it gives us the ability to add motion to shots. And so everything that I'm talking to you about today, these five different ways that we've used it, uh, are gonna be our experience with the GVM 48 inch motorized slider. And I'm gonna link to that in the description. Just know that that is an affiliate link. It doesn't cost you anything. It, it does give me a little kickback. So if you find this review helpful and you end up buying one, use that link. But uh, I love this slider because it's really quickly, it's, it's less than $400. It has mechanical panning. It loops back and forth. And we've used them for over two years without issue. But right now, let's get into the five different ways that you can utilize a motorized slider in your church's live stream. Number one, a drum cam with parallax movement. This is my very favorite way to utilize a motorized slider. And as you can see here, we've got ours set on two different stands that I will link to in the description as well. And it's just sitting on those and it goes fast enough that it's gonna parallax kind of around the drummer as he plays. And this just adds a lot more life to that shot. And the, the reason that this shot works so well is because there are foreground elements that are close to the camera and really make it exaggerated of the movement. A lot of people have added a camera just static in the drum area, but when we added this drum slider and it took some toying with to figure out the best angle for our setup right now, this is where we're at. And so I love that you can kind of set the parallax and, and make it pan around that drum set as it goes back and forth. So that's number one, the parallaxing drum cam. Number two is the push through. We like to use this on different areas of our stage with a foreground element in the shot that really shows that camera pushing through. Maybe it's utilizing some Christmas lights on some Christmas trees or pushing into a keyboard player's hands playing. It's a really effective way to add some more dramatic movement to a shot that otherwise is just static. Number three is the telephoto parallax. We've used this in a number of ways, but we use a 35 to 100 lens, so it's a 200 mil equivalent on full frame. And it's stabilized along with a camera that's stabilized. And so at 100 millimeters, you can really exaggerate the elements in the background of a shot moving behind a person. We've sat this over on the side down low on some chairs and gotten just the decor, the stage stuff behind, lights, LED tape, kind of moving back and forth behind people. Currently, we have an 85 mil equivalent on our G7 and it's sitting on a box down front and it is parallaxing, keeping the front singer in the center of the shot while the screen is filling the frame behind them and moving. It's a little more subtle of a movement, but it adds a lot to what would just be another static shot. Number four is the floor perspective. We've used this at services like our Christmas Eve service where maybe you have candles all lined along the floor and you can put the slider right behind them and just have those candles kind of passing in front of the lens and it really adds another nice perspective to your stream. And number five is behind the crowd. This is probably the one that most people try to start with whenever they get a motorized slider. I know that we did. We tried just sitting in the back of the room, you know, up on our sound booth and had it go back and forth. And what we quickly realized is that the slider does not move fast enough or far enough to show the movement of the slide unless you have it low enough to have people's heads in the foreground. And so we tried it in different areas of our worship center and it definitely works best whenever it has a little bit of panning parallax, keeping something in the center and then people's heads in the shot. So if you go for this shot, just keep those things in mind. And I'm gonna throw in a couple bonus tips in just a minute. I wanna caution you though on just a couple things we've learned as we've used these sliders in our services for two years now. And number one is that foreground elements are key to making these shots dramatic. And so putting lights just kind of in the sides of the shots or, you know, people, those kinds of things, if it doesn't have a foreground element, it's not gonna show the movement very much and it's gonna be kind of a waste. The second thing is that you really need to consider where you're putting these cameras. You can't put them just on like a desk 
at the back of the room that's gonna get vibrations and think that it's just gonna be smooth as butter. It's gonna pick up micro jitters if you don't have it on a stable, well-built thing. Or for us, we've also used lenses and camera bodies that have stabilization built in. But our drum cam is a G7 with a Tokina 11 to 16. Neither of those have stabilization, but it's sitting on poles that aren't getting the vibration. So, you know, consider where you're mounting these sliders that will get your best results. And the last thing is that while this will work with any type of slider, I really recommend this 48 inch slider because the longer section of play that you have gives you the most amount of time to go back and forth between that shot before it hits the end stops. It is smooth whenever it ramps down and ramps up, but I always try to get our directors to go to those shots while it's currently sliding from in one direction. And so having 48 inches of play, even at 100% speed, it gives you a good amount of time to go back and forth whenever you're trying to hit that shot at the right time. And finally, a bonus tip for you is that you can take these out of your worship center, utilize these as you're doing testimonial videos, interviews, maybe you're setting up and recording announcements in a different area of your church. It's so flexible, portable, they're battery powered. I've got another video on my channel that kind of breaks down the specs of this unit but you can look at that uh, and I'll link to it in the description. But just know that we've used both of these sliders for two years and I've been really, really happy. So I hope that this gives you some ideas, some inspiration on how to kind of ramp up <laughs> uh, and automate a little bit of movement into your streams as you do your very best to make your stream the best that it can be. So remember guys, we can do a lot of great things. Let's do it all for the right reasons. We'll see you in the next one.